Jay Healy and I'm with Flight Display Systems, the leader in retrofit cabin entertainment equipment. Our first product is our new standalone wireless router, no internet required, and it's basically Wi-Fi to run around the airplane. The significance of this product is that we see a future in aviation with cabin entertainment will be wireless in the cockpit with very low installation costs. This product is being STC'd as we speak in a number of aircraft. Uh, our next new product is our new wireless media server. Uh, no expensive internet required. It'll log on with our existing low-cost router, or if the airplane has a router in the airplane, it'll plug into that. It's got a, it'll hold up to 100 movies. It's got six USB ports. The significance of the product is up to eight people can log on simultaneously, watch movies, do different things in the airplane, and it really cuts down on installation costs. Once you log on, this is our homepage. And if you notice on here, it's got a internal, external, and moving map. Let's say we wanted to look at something on the internal. I push my finger on that, and up would come another menu. It's a very retail-looking product. And if I select uh, movies, if I click the movie button, up will come a list of movies. Again, you just thumb through, find the movie you want, push your button, and up comes the movie. And again, eight people can stop, start, run a movie simultaneously on the airplane. It's a very robust product that works with any Apple or Android device, small, medium, or large. So you've really got a product with a lot of flexibility with no wiring for installation in the airplane. Uh, the other thing we have built into this is our, our worldwide moving map database. And over on the right, you'll see a thing that says moving map. If I click on that button, up will come a screenshot of our moving map with the worldwide database. This is just one of the many uh, screens that'll cycle through, but it's got the typical stuff where you've got distance times, ETA to destination, etc. Our next new product is really designed for the uh, flight department in the office and not in the airplane. This is a docking station where you can plug in 10 iPads. Uh, you can charge them, you can sync them up, and the theory is uh, you take them out of the box, hand them out to the passengers, at the, the end of the mission they come back, turn them back in, you lock them up, recharge them, resync them, and get them ready for the mission the next day. We've got a new dual USB ports. Uh, USB is pretty much self-explanatory. The reason we made dual is we found most people on the airplane are looking to recharge more than one product. So this is ideal for the cockpit and the cabin, and we believe that the USB ports will pretty much be a standard product in most seats and most aircraft in the future. Uh, this is a sort of a unique product. We've come up with a 17-inch HD display. For those of you who work on the King Air, the Hawker, the Citation, and the Learjet, You've got a bulkhead that'll hold a, a 7, a 10, or a 15 or inch monitor, and everybody wants a big monitor. So this is a 17 HD monitor, and it's sort of like a pocket door that comes up out of the uh, bulkhead. Uh, finally, we've got noise-canceling headsets. They're really great. They're really comfortable. I encourage you to come by the booth, try one on, and see how really nice they are, and you might find they're really as nice as the Bose headsets. Finally, we're in booth 400. Come by, look at our products, play with our wireless. Also, I think on the last day of the show, we're going to have a training session on the wireless. And uh, thank you for your time. Aero TV's live coverage of the 56th annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. Mid-Continent Instruments and Avionics now offers dealer-only repair services for Bendix King, Mode S transponders, radar altimeters, and HF systems. For expert repairs and quick turnarounds, count on Mid-Continent Instruments and Avionics.